Hello, this is Larry Stoll from Pace Turf, and we're ending, or sort of nearing the end of the summer of 2012. And some people almost made it all the way through, except a few places that were seeing uh, some pretty serious problems. And a problem that showed up uh, just this week was one from uh, a location that had not seen uh, anthracnose for a number of years. And uh, they had made an, an application of azoxystrobe in Heritage about two weeks ago and now the green uh, looks like this. So we're seeing a pretty severe uh, anthracnose uh, epidemic and we're going to take a little bit uh, closer look at that uh, the surface of those samples to see uh, what, you, what you're what you looking for when you're trying to diagnose anthracnose and then why you might want to stay away from the uh, QOI fungicides such as Heritage, Compass and Insignia for use in anthracnose programs uh, unless you're perfectly sure that you don't have resistance. This plug from a diseased poa green is typical for a severe anthracnose epidemic. If we use a hand lens, you can see the dark CD on the foliage that is sufficient for a field diagnosis. It isn't that easy to see the CD, but you should become familiar with the speckled appearance of the foliage. Everyone who manages poa greens should be able to diagnose anthracnose and own a hand lens or macroscope that will allow you to see the characteristic A. cerevisiae and CD. Now let's take a closer look using a dissecting microscope. This is a close-up using a dissecting microscope that illustrates the speckled appearance of the anthracnose on poa annua foliage. In most cases, the, this particular epidemic looks like it was happening on the more senescent foliage, but we're going to see in a minute that it also will attack the living green foliage of poa. And what you'll see are these just the small black CD and in the center or in, around the area where the CD are involved will be uh, where the spores are produced that transmit the disease from plant to plant. Now this is a, a, a green leaf so this is a healthy leaf that's being attacked by the fungus and has produced some CD and we're going to pick this uh, piece of this leaf off we're going to put it under a compound microscope that provides higher magne magnification in the 400 uh, power range to illustrate what the fungus looks like uh, in, a, in higher magnification mode. Uh, sometimes it takes a couple of attempts to get the piece of the tissue that you want to look at to, off the sample, but if, you, if you're careful, if you have a microscope and you're careful to pull the uh, sample off uh, very carefully, you'll get a much better image to, to look at. Here's an image on phase contrast microscopy, so it's just a little bit different than a, uh, than a standard light microscopy. The spores are bright colored against a darker background, and those little spikes are the CD that we saw in lower magnification. Now this is uh, even a higher magnification with showing the CD in the A cervulae, and we'll see some spores in the background. That's where the spores are born in the center of that, that rupture in the leaf disc of the leaf, which is the A cervulus, and those lunate or sort of curved shaped spores are the spores of the anthracnose fungus, in this case Colototrichum cerealis. This is an illustration of the, uh, or an image using bright field microscopy, so it's, they, they show up but not quite as well as they do with phase contrast. Well we hope you enjoyed this video, I know it's a little grim to look at all that uh, anthracnose on some poa plants, but uh, we hope this uh, helps you in the diagnostic processes, how you can see anthracnose for yourself. And then as a warning about resistance and resistance management and to avoid the use of uh, the QOI fungicides unless you are sure you don't have uh, resistance to that class of fungicides.